Uh, I'm surprised that we haven't really made this video, but my team tells me that for some reason, this is one of those videos that we've missed. Why do CAs, either part qualified or fully qualified, the ones who've left CA or are still pursuing CA, why do these guys land up pursuing ACCA? So in this video, I'm going to give you seven reasons why the world takes up ACCA after attempting CA. So before I jump into it, if this is the first time you're visiting this channel, then please do click on subscribe. And if you've been visiting us, then thank you so much for your support. Please do leave a like and a comment. All right. Point number one, the most important point are exemptions. When you are appearing for CA, anything that you've completed beyond CA foundation, right? So any papers of IPCC, of any groups of IPCC, any papers of final CA, any groups of NCA, you get corresponding exemptions. Now, I was already made a detailed video on exemptions for ACCA. So you can please, uh, you know, have a look at that video to give you more details. But in short, if you are somewhere in your CA journey, at any point you've decided to leave, there is a massive chance that you get a minimum of five to six exemptions out of the 13 ACCA papers. And they can go all the way up to nine exemptions out of 13. So the amount of papers you have left to appear for are almost insignificant. Second, the work experience. Now, in ACCA, the work experience, which is the same as articleship of three years, right? It's called PER, Practical Experience Requirement. Uh, this actually has a few legs to it. Uh, one of the legs is uh, the three-year internship or articleship. Now, if you've completed CA and you are somewhere in the middle or have completed your articleship, you can use that experience to claim your PER for ACCA. So there's a massive overlap once again of the internship or articleship aspect. Again, we made a detailed video on the PER aspect of ACCA. Please feel free to go check that out. Third is the passing rate. Now, ACCA does not have the group system or the aggregate system, which really makes it difficult for CAs to clear in the first attempt. In ACCA, you give one paper at a time if you want two papers, three or four papers in one attempt. And if you clear, let's say three out of four, or if you give two, you clear one out of two, the one you've cleared, you move on with. Well, you just have to give the one which you've not cleared and that two with the next one. So the ability to keep moving forward with ACC is very high, which in turn shows a higher passing rate. It's a third massive one, major advantage. Fourth, global opportunities. Now, obviously, right, CA is king in India. Uh, courses like ACCA, CMA, CPA, CFA have all picked up now. But CA is number one because of signing authority and so on and so forth. That being said, people who want to have a professional career in India do land up taking ACCA and the like. But if they also want a global opportunity, that's when ACCA shines. Because not only do you have more recognition, you might also have signing authority. But most importantly, CAs might not always be recognized in other countries where ACCAs are. So having a, a CA either in part or full with ACCA is a superb combination for many, many candidates who are taking up this qualification with us. Point number five, time. You know, if you have unfortunately not cleared CA, you have to appear for a minimum of one group, that's four papers minimum, every six months, so that's half a year. If you don't clear that, you've got to wait for another half a year. And that just elongates the time. In ACCA, number one, exams are held every quarter. And two, you can appear for, like I said in the previous point, multiple papers at once. And if you don't clear, you can just move on complete the uncleared paper with the next paper the ones you have cleared you're done with so the time that it takes starts shrinking significantly and if you're already a ca qualified which means you get nine out of 13 exemptions in acca the final four papers you can clear anywhere between three months to a year based on your flexibility so again if you see that the, the amount of time you save or the speed at which you can complete acca is tremendous next the syllabus now, the big advantage for CAs is that the amount of studies that CAs have to go through in their journey is enormous, right? A lot of the ACCA subjects sort of overlap, right? Financial management, performance management, which is similar to costing, accounting, which is like India's, you know, we learn IFRS, auditing, while you learn international standards on auditing in India, you still learn Indian standards on, of auditing and essentially auditing is the same. There is a little difference in tax, but again, the base of tax, any country in the world is essentially how to tax on certain people's income, certain corporate income, certain ways of making gains, etc, etc. Conditions are different, but the base is the same. So for a CA to study the syllabus of ACC, again, is humongously simple. And the final point is cost. Right. ACCA luckily now is not that expensive when you compare it to all other courses. Right. If you start ACCA from zero, 
right from scratch you might take between four to five lakhs with exam fees uh, registration subscription fees training fees study material etc if you have exemptions you might have to you don't have to appear for the exam but you have to pay for exemption fees however when you register with partners right and of course i'm talking about your zell uh, we have what they call platinum partners we get the advantage to dramatically lower the body fees for you guys so exemption fees for a chartered accountant who's completed let's say either all the levels and as a ca qualified or as a, somewhere in his final ca he might have to pay up to 90000 1 lakh rupees in exemptions which we get down to less than 10 20000 rupees so that's a saving of almost 80000 rupees that we can offer and many things like that study material you know uh, we have our material otherwise you have to buy outside um, so if you break down the cost it might not be that much more significant than that of ca so essentially we've seen that if somebody wants to start after ipcc i mean they've cleared ipcc and then want to appear for acca it would take around two and a half ish lakh maybe three approximate uh, to complete an international qualification if somebody's completed final ca it can take around a lakh and a half approximately and again like i said if you really go into the depth of it you can bring that a little lower as well but compared to doing an international mba or an entire new qualification from zero right it's extremely inexpensive even ca for most of you guys might be costing 3 lakh 4 lakhs over a period of 4 5 years minimum if you sort of pay for training at each stage so when you combine all of this the cost is also a massive bonus so guys these are seven points why ca's land up generally doing acca with us i hope that this has helped you guys if you've missed anything please leave it in the comments